yeah guys um market's open neo stock but i've got um <clears throat> got something to read to you which was sent to me anonymously got something to read to you guys so stand by i'm reading the notes anyway i just want to say this is about neo stock guys neo stock and um Bitcoin connection, but I just want to say it's the 29th November 2024 and it's just turned 30, 35 minutes past 3 p.m. <clears throat> and I've been sent this information, so I'm going to read it to you. If you bear with me, because I've just eaten a biscuit <clears throat> and I've got a coffee. bit hot guys yeah anyway the market's open so it's currently four dollars forty five four dollars forty five cents anyway i got this information guys it's important so i'm going to read it i haven't really read it like much but apparently like it's big 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 news big news have you have you ever heard of the name satoshi Nakamoto or if I mention Bitcoin does it ring a bell the enigmatic figure behind the in invention that changed the world forever for years the identity of Nakamoto has been one of the greatest mysteries in the tech world Countless theories have circulated about who he truly is. But now, one bold move has finally revealed his true identity. Let me tell you what happened and how it could affect the technological world. The rise of Bitcoin in 2009 sparked an entire revolution in how we think about currency, technology, and even trust itself. A world where transactions happen without the need for a bank, where you can send money across the globe without worrying about exchange rates, middlemen, or bureaucratic red tape, became suddenly the reality. <clears throat> This was the promise of Bitcoin, a decentralized currency that operates without the control of governments or financial institutions, a currency that is truly peer to peer. What once seemed like an impossible dream in the exciting, sorry, not exciting, existing financial system has now become a reality. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. While the world was captivated by the technology behind Bitcoin, the identity of its creator remained a mystery. Who was Satoshi Nagamoto, the mysterious figure behind the creation of this revolutionary concept? No one knew. Some believed it was a group of cryptographers. Others suspected it was a government project. And some thought it was one visionary mind working in secret. The anonymity surrounding Satoshi only added to the mis mystery, creating the first digital mythology but what if the answer has been right in front of us all along what if the true inventor of bitcoin wasn't some unknown figure in the shadows but a well-known innovator with remarkable track records of technological breakthroughs that person could be none other than william lee the founder and CEO of NEO, a company at the forefront of electric vehicles and cutting edge nanotechnology. 
So what does William Lee have to do with Bitcoin? Let's take a look at the facts. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I've just got to drink my coffee. Can't see well these notes. Let's look at the facts. Let me read on. William Lee is best known as the founder of NEO, a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer that has made significant strides in the automotive industry. NEO's vehicles are often praised for their inno innovative designs and their use of advanced technologies, including artificial intelligence and autonomous driving features. However, NEO's potential expands far beyond just its electric vehicles. The company has also made significant advancements in other areas, including the development of a powerful nanochip, a breakthrough in nanotechnology that could revolutionize, revolutionize a number of industries including blockchain by now you're probably starting to see where this is going but there's more to the story than you think <clears throat> just reading this email guys now let's talk about timing bitcoin was released in 2009 and for se and for several years afterward its growth was steady, but somewhat under the radar. And uh, the world slowly began to realise that Bitcoin was more than just a new currency. It was a new way of thinking. About how, yeah, new way of thinking about how, just go to the second page, about how information value could be exchanged digitally. Right now, uh, sorry, right around that time, William Lee's NEO, right, sorry, sorry, right around that time, William Lee's NEO was just beginning to take shape. While NEO itself didn't exist at that time, Lee's interest in technology and innovation was well established. The mysterious Nakamoto's ability to design a system from scratch suggests a level of technical expertise that aligns with William Lee's career trajectory perfectly. Could it be that this private businessman with his deep expertise in technology was the one who not only envisioned but also created the, the the cryptocurrency that would become what we call today Bitcoin. Shortly after releasing Bitcoin, Satoshi, sorry about my pronunciation, guys, Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared from the public eye. If William Lee were indeed Satoshi, his disappearance from the Bitcoin scene could easily be explained by his shift in focus to developing Neo's electric vehicles. Much like Nakamoto, Lee has kept a relatively low profile in certain areas, choosing to focus on his company's innovations rather than courting the media spotlight. Neo's recent breakthrough with its nano chip might just be the missing piece of the puzzle. The company's innovations in nanotechnology could play a significant role in the evolution of blockchain technology. The essence of Bitcoin. Blockchain at its core requires immense computing power and efficiency to securely verify transactions across the decentralized network. Now, imagine a powerful nanochip, small, 
yet incredibly efficient, being used to streamline and scale cryptocurrency mining and blockchain management. What if the same technology William Lee's company is developing today was in fact the driving force behind the early infrastructure of Bitcoin? Nano chips designed to operate on a microscopic scale could explain how Bitcoin's blockchain was able to scale so rapidly and disruptively. Could it be that these nano chips still in their early stages of development were part of the te technology that powered the network before it became the global phenomenon we know today? Let's be honest here, the more you dig, the more lines between Neo CEO and Bitcoin begin to blur. Lee's recent work in nanotechnology seems like the natural, natural next step towards, towards a future where blockchain and cryptocurrencies are more efficient. With the rise of decentralized networks, and the increasing demand for high performance computing, nanotechnology could play a major role in addressing the energy consumption and processing power challenges that currently limit blockchain's potential. <clears throat> Through the power of nanochips, these innovations could lead to a transformative era in blockchain technology one that is faster, more secure and capable of supporting a wider variety of applications. It is possible that Lee is now working on the next big thing, something even bigger than Bitcoin, the creation of a nanochip that could potentially play a role in in enhancing blockchain technology further. What does this mean for the future of Bitcoin? If William Lee truly is the creator behind the cryptocurrency, this revelation could have significant implications <coughs> excuse me, for the future of cryptocurrencies. Imagine a world where the creator of Bitcoin is now involved in developing technology that could dramatically improve blockchain scalability and efficiency. With NEO's nano chip, the next generation of cryptocurrencies could see faster transaction times, lower energy consumption and more secure blockchain networks. William Lee's expertise in both the automotive and technology industries could put him in a unique position to lead the next wave of innovation in digital currencies. If Bitcoin is already considered a game changer, then the combination of Lee's visionary leadership and cutting edge nanotechnology could bring about the next evolution in blockchain technology. The true identity of Satoshi Nagamoto, Nagamoto has sparked debate and speculation ever since Bitcoin first gained popularity. But as we look at the technological advancements made by William Lee and his company, Neo is starting to seem more and more obvious. Sorry, Neo, it started to seem more and more obvious that Lee could be the one responsible for Bitcoin's creation. That's a, that's a big, big statement, guys. Let me read on this last bit. But why would such a visionary genius remain hidden under anonymity anonymity does he fear the wrath of banks 
whose very existence Bitcoin threatens? Is he avoiding the anger of governments who would see decentralization as a challenge to their control or perhaps there is some, something even darker at play? Some unknown force, a shadowy alliance of financial giants or hidden powers who would go to any lengths to protect the status quo. Could Satoshi's decision to stay anonymous stem from a deeper, more ominous om, fear? A fear for his own safety or for the safety of Bitcoin itself? Or is it simply that the true creator of this revolutionary technology wishes to remain unseen, preferring the shadows to the spotlight, protecting not just his invention, but maybe some, something far more valuable than we may never fully understand. Perhaps there is something even greater at play, a hidden project so revolutionary that it eclipses Bitcoin itself. Could it be that Satoshi is working on something beyond our comprehension, something far more powerful and disruptive than cryptocurrency? And what of his connection to the electric vehicle industry? Could it be merely a facade, a clever distraction to keep praying eyes away from a much grander vision? Is the rise of NEO and its technological advancements a cover for something even more radical, something that could reshape not just finance but the very fabric of our global system systems that's the email guys i received now that's the suggestion there that william lee is the creator of bitcoin take it you know take it with a pinch of salt guys i don't know i don't know i don't i don't know who sent me the email Right, I don't know who sent me the email. It was anonymous. But I received the email. Right, I received the email. And um, I've read it to you, guys. I've read it to you. So I don't know if it's true. I don't know. Like, that's it. I've received the email. I've just, I've just, I've just read it to you. I don't know if it's true that William Lee invented Bitcoin. Um, refers to the nano technology. I received the email the other day, right? Mentioned it in one of my other videos. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's possible. It could be true. It could be true, right? Right? William Lee, he could be the um, creator of Bitcoin. But I just thought, I found it interesting anyway. So I thought I'd let you know that about that, guys. But as I say, the market's opened 450 now. And um it's pushing up a little bit. And I just thought I'd bring you that news, guys, about Bitcoin, you know, possible William Lee, the CEO of, of, of Neo, you know, of Neo that he could be the creator of Bitcoin, right? That's what he's saying. You heard it anyway. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment. And don't forget, guys, share the video. Like the video. Like the video. And share the video on Stock Twits. Share the video on Yahoo Conversations. Share the video on Facebook. Share the video in your WhatsApp groups. 
share the video on all trading platforms that have blogs or comment sections right share the video by emails you know right just share the video i don't know if it's true or not i'm not saying it is this is what they sent me by email it was anonymous right but they're talking about the nano chips they're talking about william lee they're talking about bitcoin they're connecting the dates there's a lot of information there guys i don't know anyway don't forget to share the video like the video and leave the comments guys uh it's important to leave the comments tell me what you think about this is it true or not that's what i want to know because it seems like plausible seems plausible guys and um i'm going to try, i don't know how many words i can post on the, on the i'm going to try and post the you know the email i'm going to try and post it on on the um when i upload the video i don't know the word count uh the word length what do you call it the word limit but i'm going to post it guys and um just let me know what you think but important to share the information guys all right see if i have a video see you in the next video guys